Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you, we praise you. We we'll give you all glory because the entrance of your word giveth light. O oh Lord, I bless you because your word has a light that shines upon our soul. And we are enlightened and we are liberated. Lord, thank you for the deliverance you have given to us. I claim their deliverance, I claim my deliverance. And I declare that we are delivered in Jesus' name. And everything lost shall be restored. And as we go into this message, guide us, O oh Lord. Lord, speak to us by the Holy Ghost. And give us grace to overcome. O oh Lord, to move forward, conquer and conquer. And help others to conquer and make heaven at last. In Jesus' name. Let's turn to Psalm 73, verse 20. Psalm 73, reading verse 20. As a dream, when one awakens, so, O Lord, when thou awakens, thou shalt despise their image. In Isaiah chapter 7, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 10. Let's read verse 7. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. The Lord says, The Lord God, He shall not stand, neither shall He come to pass. Chapter 10, I mean, chapter 8, verse 10. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. And in Psalm 118, from verse 10. Psalm 118, verse 10. All nations come past me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They come past me about, yea, they come past me about. But in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They come past me about like bees that quench as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. There are many devices in, the, in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. And looking at the topic, despise them. Despise them. Everyone should know that we are in a spiritual battle. Most of his fights are aimed at our thoughts or mind. So he uses dreams a lot. Dreams a lot. And dream is a mystery. Which at times throws the dreamer into deep thought. And stabilize or tumble the faith of the victim. Once that is achieved, such person will be empty or full of fear and faithlessness. When you have had a very terrible dream, it will tumble your faith, tumble your mind. You will be full of fear and end up in what? Faithlessness. And uh, having known that, this thing is targeted to destabilize us, to empty us. What we should do is to despise them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That dream you had concerning you, that dream that will make you to lose faith in God, is not of God. Do you hear what I'm saying now? What do you do with such dream? For the Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I have, as your pastor, I have come to realize that the devil is attacking many of you through dreams. And that is what here I'm standing to deal with. So that after today, those dreams will not mean anything to you. The devil has overthrown the faith of many of you by dreams. Dream that will make you restless. Dream that make you full of fear, worry. Dream that make you, you begin to wonder what is all this. My friend, today, I am here standing and declaring such dream should be what? Despised. 
For the, the Bible said in John chapter 8 verse 30, you shall know the truth. Chapter 8 verse 32. And the truth shall do what? Make you free. So as a result of this danger of dreams, this message becomes necessary at this end and dangerous times for us the chosen to overcome and reign with our Lord Jesus Christ. This message becomes very necessary so that we shall overcome because many are not be overcoming it. So that we shall reign with Jesus in this present world. Are you hearing me? Dream has brought so many people down. Are you hearing me? Some people call me. Somebody called me this. Somebody sent them, you know, a message to me. I said, ah, Pastor, I have a dream. And I want you to pray for me. He doesn't know that I have a message already for dreams. Praise the Lord. So, I want to let you know that dream that tumbles you will be tumbled today. We cannot continue to pursue shadows. Secret thing belongs to God. Things that I reveal belong to us. If they belong to us, we do what we like with it. If this iron belongs to me, I can break it now. And you not ask me why. Are you hearing me? If what belongs to me, if this microphone belongs, I can kick it now. If you ask me why, I say it belongs to me. That dream that is revealed belongs to you. Therefore, you are going to do what? Destroy them. It is not a cause to worry or to fear or to be faithless and they say you are dying. Who told you are going to die? What do you do against dreams? I'm not here. Yeah, those who are who, who are sent me message. What do you do against dream? Huh? I said before any message, eh? There are people that God is targeting and are going through trouble. And today, those trouble that dream has put you into, you shall be delivered from them. What do you do with them? I want to let you know we are in the dangerous time. The Bible said, according to Second Timothy chapter three verse one, he said, in the last days, perilous times shall come. We are in a dangerous time, and the devil has sought very mean, many means to attack believers. He couldn't find the real way to attack them. The devil resorted, especially the chosen, resorted in pouring dreams, pouring. He will pour drink like water upon choosing people. But today, the dream shall be dislodged in Jesus' name. So, we're going to look at point number one. Dream and dreams explained. Two, our application, negative dreams and how to overcome them. Let's go to point number one. Dreams and dreams explained. Everyone who profess Jesus Christ as he is Lord or her personal Savior. Should know that he or she is saved. I said that person is what? Is saved. You profess Jesus Christ as your Lord, as your what? Personal Savior. You believe it. You are what? In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12. Chapter 1. But as many as receive him, then give you power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. They are what? They are sons of God. They are saved. In first John chapter 5, verse 13. First John. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know and that, that you have what? Eternal life. And that you may believe on the Son, on the name of the Son of God. And in Romans chapter 10, verse 8. Romans chapter 10, reading verse 8.
But what said it? The words is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now listen to me. If you believe and confess, you should know that you are what? You are saved. I put it on so many of you here, all of you. You are saved. I said, I said to you, Apostle John said, I write to you, but I'm saying to you now, you are saved. As many of you that believe on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and confess it with your mouth, you are what? Now, take note. Our salvation is not based on dreams, but on our faith in Him, on the finished work of grace on the cross of Calvary. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 3 For I deliver unto you first of all, first of all that which I do which I also receive how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen of Caiaphas and of, of the twelve. The point is this, that which I received, how Christ died and was buried and rose again. I want to let you know, this is the whole song gospel, that Christ died for me and for you. And he changed his blood and was buried on the third day. He rose again for our salvation, our justification. And I want to let you know, once you believe and confess, the Bible says you are what? Save. So I put it on your head because all of you believe and confess it. You are saved. So dreams or revelation can come from God, signifying His good intention. Praise the Lord. And as well, rebuke, warning or rebuke for us to be encouraged, repent, and escape. And not for destruction. Dream does not come for what? No, 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 no. It comes for correction, for rebuke. Dream comes as a warning. And dream comes also for encouragement and good intention of God towards you. It does not come to destroy you. They do hear what I'm saying. Any dream that puts you off, any dream that destabilizes you, any dream that puts you in fear, any dream that makes you not to pray again is not of God. Do what? I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. That dream that makes you to lose your faith is not from God, it's from the pit of hell. If God has brought a rebuke to you, He will make you to pray. So that you will do what? You will come out of the danger. He will not make you not to pray or begin to cry and begin to lose your faith. Do you hear what I'm saying? The dream that God gave to, to Joseph was about his good intention towards who? Please answer me. Towards Joseph on what he's going to do for him. It was not for the destruction of who? Joseph. Praise the Lord. The dream that God gave to Jacob is for what? For the good of who? Jacob. What God is going to do in his life. And all those dreams came to pass. Because it is the will of God. It is the plan of God. Nothing can thwart it. And that you can see in Genesis chapter 37 verse 7 to verse 7 to 11 and then Genesis 28 verse 1 to 14 I'm talking about the dreams of who? Jacob and the dreams of Joseph besides dreams can come through many activities in the day you can search that in the scripture according to Proverbs and from the devil dreams can come from the devil demons and human agents and any dream that does not edify 
and that is meant to frighten us, weaken our faith, and make us to worry, should not be what? Should not be regarded at all, at all. Do you hear what I'm saying? Dream that will make you to weaken your faith, make you afraid, make you to worry, and uh, in fact, make you to lose your faith in God. That dream should be what? Despised. Should be disregarded. Somebody, uh, well, let, let's go on. We, should, we must not magnify such dream. Magnifying it is putting yourself away from God and from faith in Him. He said, ah, this dream, oh, ah, this dream, uh, in fact, is my friend, forget that. Don't say that. Are you hearing me? For God cannot bring a dream to destroy you. Do you hear me? Is either to correct you or rebuke you or make you to do what? To repent or what He wants to do for you. He cannot bring a dream so that you backslide. Tell me. God will give you a dream to pass light. Please, someone should tell me. God will give you a dream so you can become sick. So that you will not have faith in God again. You will not pray. It is not of God. Therefore, don't tell me that dream. Are you hearing me? Don't tell me. I have seen wonderful dream. Oh, uh, Pastor, be careful. What, why do you want me to be careful? That means you want me to be conscious of it. So that I can become afraid. If you have a dream, despise it. And deal with the dream where you are. Don't pass that uh, that poison to another person. I don't know where they are from I'm making. Somebody said he saw you were going to die. You are not going to die. It's not true. If he saw you were going to die, he should cancel it for you. And not, I will not transfer that to you. You don't understand what I you, do you understand what I'm saying? You shouldn't transfer. He saw you that where you become naked and you're walking on the street naked. And you and you believe it, you are gone. I don't know whether you are here or not. He saw you where spite and swallowed you. God forbid. It's not you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Tell the person, warn the person who gave you that dream. Now he shouldn't tell you so dream again in life. You should go and cancel it if he's planning evil to you. But some people come and tell me that they dream where pipe or swallow them. <laughs> can you imagine such? Can you ima is it from God? <laughs> I have heard something from many people. Some people say something swallow them. This and that. My friend, when you rise up and said, This is a lie. I am here. I, fight on you, I cancel it in Jesus' name. And stop magnifying it. Praise the Lord. Only dream where you die. And you are not panicking. Who told you you die? All you to do is that this is nonsense. I cancel this thing. Praise the Lord. Don't you know that unbelievers dream bad dream too? Do they, what do they do? They just, they don't take it anything. Do they pray? Unbelievers. They dream bad, terrible bad dream. And they don't say that. You know, they just... They say it's not them. They if it's unbeliever, we say it's not them. And believer will be into worry and trouble and then and lose everything. God forbid. What was fired at you from from secret court, from marine kingdom? And you want to accept it. If you accept it, it will work on you. So what do you do with them? Despise them. I say dream can come from demons, from human agent or the devil, or the dream can be projected to destabilize you and bring you down. Dream can be inspired at you that if you accept it, it will begin to work on you. It must be rejected. Can somebody say amen to that? Well, I will rush this message because there are other messages, but then, listen to me, I will bring it back. But those who are going through dreams, by the few statements I'm going to make, from today you have victory over dreams. So, I have told you and I'm now telling you again, 
that all those things that does not edify that is meant to frighten us weaken our faith or make us to worry should not be what regard them we should despise them we must not magnify such dreams rather we should despise them and disregard such dreams according to the book of Psalm 73 verse 20 Psalm 73 I read verse 20 and he says as a dream when one awakened what does he do oh lord when the, what, the, when does, what does he do when thou awakest what happened thou shalt despise their images whatever image whatever you saw in the dream when you wake up do what don't take them to any meaning at all at all and then as the child of God said I cancel it in Jesus name and they don't say I cancel I cancel I cancel that's lack of faith what is it that you are wasting your energy something that you don't know how there's something that is a spell on you I cancel it in Jesus name first we are dream go and sleep again praise the Lord because the Bible said in Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 whatever we bind on earth shall be found heaven. whatever you lose on earth shall be lost and uh, in Job chapter 22 verse 28 it says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you what are you wasting your time you pass a decree you cancel it you bind the power and it will never work on you praise the Lord so don't regard their dream any more despise them and that is a point number two our application, negative dreams how to overcome them we must not regard the dream that is not of God, rather we should rebuke or cause the dream by faith do you know you can cause a dream praise the Lord you despise it and say I cost you dream in the name of Jesus and that dream will die praise the Lord in Galatians chapter 1 Galatians chapter 1 and I read verse 8 but though we or an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you than that which have which we have preached unto you let him be what a cause any dream that is contrary to the word of God what happened to it let it be what a cost even if it comes from any angel any spirit and it's contrary to the will of God and contrary to the word of God do what? cost that dream command it to die do you know that dream can die and will never survive or achieve its purpose in your life cost it do you hear me? don't magnify it the Bible says even if an angel come from heaven and bring another gospel than which we are preached is a letter angel be what? a cost so when the dream that is not of God when the dream goes contrary to the word of God what do you do? let the dream be what? cost so I cost the dream because the Bible commanded it praise the Lord so we must not entertain these things or magnify them we should not regard them Rather, we should despise them. According to Psalm 73, verse 20. Whenever anyone is bringing dream, dreams to you to captivate you, to enslave you, do not accept that dream at all. At all. Eh? Somebody come to you and say, I saw a dream where you died, where you became a poor man, and where nothing is working for you again. So, hold it. If I hear it from you again. Are you crazy? <laughs> he said, it's not, my, it's not me. Eh? I cancel it in Jesus' name. He said, I saw the dream where you become naked and you are picking, dust, picking things from the, from the dust field. He said, me? God forbid. It's not me. Are you hearing me? That in the name of Jesus, I cancel it, I reject it. Don't let them come and dream that dream. They said that your dream where you die. Where in fact nothing is in fact you are now a failure. Nothing is working and you fall from pantry. So I hear this dream. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't tell the person 
Any day you dream, dream, eh? If he's, if he wake up, if he's again, again, cancel it and go your way. Don't let me hear it. If I hear it, I will tell you that you are the one that caused the dream. Praise the Lord. Therefore, what do you do with the dream? You have authority. You despise, you cost it. You can can I cancel it in Jesus' name. And then it will go as it come. Praise the Lord. So let them sometimes it, the dream has begin to come every day. If you accept one, the next day they will come. There was a woman that came here. And then by dream he took away one of our pastors. And he's coming to give me a dream. And he come and say, want to give me a dream. I said, next time. Eh? Next time. Never you try to share any dream with me. If you cannot cancel it, don't come near me. By that dream he took one of our big pastor away. Every day he's giving him dream, giving him dream. And the person loves it. He's hearing dream. He's hearing dream. Every day this person will come all the way from the east to share dream to me. Say, so, yeah, I see this dream. I, I said, if you don't do it, oh, this one will happen. Oh. I say, next time. Eh? Next time. Never you. Never. If you have dream, let it remain with your head. Follow it. If you don't, if you cannot cancel it, I don't want to hear. Every time he will come all the way from the east, I have a dream. Are they controlling you by dream and you have become a slave? They will come to dream and they begin to you know their stories. They will sometimes they, they dream, you know, you dream where you are eating fine rice. Where you are where where you are now flying like a cat. Flying to America. Huh? You dream where you are losing things and falling into pit and falling into grave and then caged in a prison and seeing the coffee or or being in prison eh? or eating or shaking hands with the dead people or seeing dead people all around you or seeing people who were dead many years uh, you know they are not coming that close to you or where you are naked or the dream where someone has taken away your husband or carry away your wife or they are deaf you know, capture your children and they are telling you and you are listening eh? and dream where you and your husband we are fighting this one blow me you blow me blow up Say so what not do what what if I hear this again, eh? I hope you are following the point I'm making. You don't need to listen to such things. They are meant to do what? To erode your faith, make you afraid, and make you to be to become empty. And worry and not pray again. They saw where they saw you where you are getting old with the gray hair, you didn't marry. See, you are the cause of this problem. You, you, you that tell me this thing. I hope you are friends of what I'm making. They saw, they saw you where you are getting old. Eh? You did not marry. What I tell you, not the words that you plan your marriage. You, if you see any man capture the person, you do not do it like that. So, don't listen to them. Or it's from the devil. Are you hearing me? They saw you where well, you getting old. You don't have any child at all at all. They say, hey, check it out. Oh. You can do something. Oh. Don't listen to the, what? Such dream is from the pit of hell. They saw where your business close up. You began to beg people for money. And you say you are choosing. You are wearing apron that day. <laughs> They say the worst of it is that you are wearing a pro or you are doing money cry and you are shop we saw how your shop close up and nothing is working for you, you are begging for food. And we saw you wearing carry Bible and preaching and you wear a pro. You are listening. You don't know that why they don't they won't want you to carry Bible. They don't want you to wear a pro. They don't want to be you choosing again. Tell the person if I hear this from you again that this is from the pit of hell. I return it back to sender. It's not true. They saw you. But if you remain in that church where you are in the dream that you cannot do well again, tell them it's what? It's a lie. Despise them. I hope you are playing the point I'm making. They saw where you suddenly marry unbeliever. Eh? And they suddenly you marry unbeliever. 
He said, what do you mean? Never you share this dream again to me in life. Now you can never marry unbeliever. Praise the Lord. So, I hope you are following the point I'm making. And some of them, the dream, they say where well, they are being messed up by someone in the dream, or someone messing you up, or bring, and are bringing, you know, an unholy, or, or you are being a holy gathering, or swimming in the river, or armed robber shooting you dead, or, gone, or, or they are trying to kill you, and you are wandering in the bush without escape. And they say they saw you. Where well, they know you are being surrounded by masquerade about knowing people trying to kill you. All these are what? Lies. Despise them. Cancel them. Don't regard them. Remember, the word of God has the spirit of power over dreams and the works of the devil. That is why Jesus was telling the devil, It is written. It is written. And in that's Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 10, and Proverbs 19 21, he says, Many are the devices in the heart of man, but nevertheless the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. What matters is what God says concerning you. Are you hearing me? Cancel them. What they will bind the edge shall be bound in heaven. Don't regard them. Whenever you have bad dream, you can cancel it by the word of God. Quoting the Bible, Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Matthew 15, 13, every plan which my heavenly father did not plan shall be rooted up. And you said, I root you up, I return you back to sender. And in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. And now you declare the word of God, command that it to be what? Destroyed. And he said, Psalm 118 verse 10, in the name of the Lord, I do what? I destroy them. Remember, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 said, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than two words. Any two edges sword. And wherever God sent it, it must not return void. According to Isaiah 55 verse 11 to 12. Once we quote the word of God, our faith will be very strong. And the, our dreams shall be what? Defeated. Can I hear you say amen? Once you cancel them, they shall remain cancelled. Therefore, from today, do not allow any man, any woman, or even your own self, dreams to bring you down. Rather, exercise authority over them. Disregard them, despise them. Devil has poured a lot of dream upon the chosen ones. In the name of Jesus, I nullify all of them. Bow down your head and begin to cancel and decree that from today you will never allow this to overcome you. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the entrance of your word given life. Oh Lord, as we listen to your word this day. Lord, give us grace to stand against the wives of the devil, the dreams and all the evil that are thrown at us. Father, I begin to nullify and cancel all the dreams, oh God, attack the devil, I use against the chosen one worldwide. I nullify, I revoke, I cancel, I bring them to naught. Father, arise, oh God, let all evil dreams return back to sender. We nullify them, we cancel, we bring them to naught. Father, intervene in Jesus' name, we pray. Every evil dream against you, against your family, against your future, against this ministry, against me, against every member, be cancelled in Jesus' name. Whatever imagination or spell or dream or projection, whatever I give you to eat, whatever I enter your body, whatever I attack you, whatever I show you, Father, I nullify them by the blood of Jesus. I despise them, I turn them back to send them in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I command deliverance from all evil dreams in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. And it is amen in heaven.